Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page five and we are looking at tense. Now, before we do that, I want to flip over to page four, which we've already done, and I want to draw a little bit of a chart at the bottom. I've already drawn it, and you can go ahead and if I move too quickly, you can pause the video and come back to it. But up to this point this year, we have been learning about place value in terms of ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. But what we're going to start doing now is we're going to look at place values on the other side of the decimal. So here you can see that I've drawn a decimal. And so a decimal, what it does is it tells you where you're separating between whole numbers and fractional numbers. Right? So all decimals are are representation of fractions. So we've already dealt with fractions. So we know that there are numbers that are less than zero, less than uh, less than one, right? Um, and so that is what a what a decimal is. It's a representation of a decimal, or representation rather of a fraction, which is less than one. It's less than a whole, right? And so what we have here are tenths and hundredths. And that'll be pretty much what we look at this year. It does go into thousands and ten thousands and things like that. But our focus will be on tenths and hundredths. And so this decimal tells you, oh, what is about to come after it is less than a whole. It's less than one. Right? So if you don't have this drawn, go ahead and pause the video. Draw this on page four so it's a helpful reference. You can always go back and look at it if you get confused about your place value. Where are hundredths? Where are tenths? All right. Let's go back to page five and look at what we have here. So here, Pedro used a meter ruler to measure the length of one of his shoelaces, right? And the length is seven tenths. So if we take a, 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 meter, um, a meter stick, divide it into 10 parts, right? His would be seven of those 10 parts. So how do you write the length of the shoelace as a decimal, right? So the length of the shoelace is seven tenths of a meter. Divide uh, one whole into 10 equal parts. Each part is equal to a tenth. So here we can see that a tenth, the way we write that is 0 0.1, right? 0 0.2, because all we're doing is putting this, we're gonna put the seven in the tenths place, right? So place value, We have the ones place, we have the tenths place. And right there in the middle is our decimal to tell us that this side is a whole number, this side is a fractional number, less than one, right? So we have seven tenths. However, in math, we never want to leave the ones place empty, right? So even though by putting this zero here, it adds no value to this number. We always want to represent a decimal with at least a zero in the ones place. So if it's just a number that is less than one, we are going to put a zero in the ones place. All right, so the answer, the length of the shoelace is seven tenths of a meter or 0 0.7. And you'll hear me use both of those languages, right? For the purpose of writing it, I'll say 0 0.7. Right, but the way we'd say this is seven tenths. All right, let's turn over to page six. All right, so here, how many tenths are in a whole? Right, well, we already know this. In order to have a whole, you need 10 tenths, All right? Because you need the number on the top and the bottom to be same, equal to equal one whole. So we need 10 tenths. Now, the way we can see this in math is wherever the last digit is, is the tenths place, right? So I'm gonna put a zero in the tenths place, and I'm gonna put a one in the ones place. This is the number 10, with the last digit being in the tenths place, so we pronounce this as tenths. So I could say there are 10 tenths, because this is the tenths place, right? I'll put that right here, tenths. Place. Now, normally we're not going to read this as 10 tenths. We're going to read this as one whole or one and zero tenths if we want to be more specific. Right? 
Here, this is 9 tenths, right? So we would know this as a fraction as 9 tenths. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 9 in the tenths place, right? So I'm going to put a 9 here. Well, that means there's going to be a decimal right in front of it. And if I'm making this the, um, the tenths place, well, I, I always have to have a 0 in the ones place. All right? Okay, so next one, 15 tenths. Well, so we'd have 15 tenths, right? Or we could think of this as 10 tenths plus 5 tenths, which would equal what? Well, this 10 tenths is going to be a whole, 1, and then this 5 tenths will be 5 tenths, right? So that means, <clears throat> what are we going to add to the one whole? Well, we're going to add 5 tenths. How do I write 5 tenths? I put a 5 in the tenths place. That means there's a decimal right in front of it. And I need a 0 in the ones place. So then how would I write this together? Um, now, we won't have to do this all the time. But we could think of 1 plus 0 0.5, right? Now, I can't put the 1 here because this is a 1 in the ones place. So I have to respect place value, okay? ones place, tenths place, okay? And so that's right good there. So one plus zero is one, five plus nothing is five, and I bring that decimal straight down. So one and five tenths, and that's what that decimal is telling me. And that's where I'm gonna say and, and whatever comes after it is less than a whole. What about two tenths? Well, let's put two in the tenths place, and that means I need a decimal and a zero in front of it. Six tenths, six in the tenths place, and means I need a decimal and zero in front of it. All right, let's turn over to page seven. So here, I have three in the ones place. So three and six tenths, three in the ones place. Oops, three ones and how many tenths? Six tenths. How do I write that? This is six in the tenths place with a zero, the decimal and zero in front of it. Okay, so three ones and six tenths. Oops, they just wanted the whole number six. That's my fault, sorry about that. I wasn't reading that carefully enough. Six tenths, so it's three plus 0 0.6, there we go. All right, the digit in the ones place. What's the digit in the ones place? A three. What's the value of the digit in the six place? It is the value of six tenths, so I'm put six with a decimal and a zero in front of it. I gotta keep it in that place value, right? Now, write <clears throat> three sixths on the number line. So here we have a three and a four. We know it's gonna be one between there. So we have three and one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. So three and six tenths. All right, write the missing decimal. All right, so here we have it, it's between a zero and a one, so we know it's going to be less than a, less than one. So I'm going to put my zero, and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tenths. So I'm going to put an eight in the tenths place. Here I have two full ones. That's going to be my whole numbers, right? How many do I have full? Two. All right. Then I'm going to put a decimal. How much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two and six tenths. All right, let's look at page eight. Okay, on page eight, we're gonna skip over the activity and we're gonna to come to the practice on your own. All right, so using these same skills, you're gonna do page eight, page nine, and page 10, All right? Now, this think is pretty difficult. It's a little bit challenging, but think about equivalent fractions and see if you can figure it out, okay? All right. Let's turn back to page seven. Uh, go ahead and pause the video now and come back when you're ready. All right, so let's look at this together. All right, so here, how many tenths are there? Well, here are 10 tenths, because it's a whole, plus three, so 13 tenths. So that means we have one whole and three tenths. All right, so how would I write that? All right, I would write one plus three tenths. And so I would write that as one 
and 3 tenths, or 1.3. Because remember, the, the period is what stands for and, and that means everything that comes after it is less than a whole. Now, another way I could have done this is 13 tenths. I could have just wrote the number 13. I need this to be in the tenths place. The last digit needs to be in the tenths place. And therefore, this has to be in the ones place, because you can't have two digits, and I know I'd have a decimal in the middle, right? So just if I know 13 tenths, I know that the last digit has to go in the tenths place, and therefore, the, the, the one had to be in the ones place, and then a decimal in between. All right, what do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tenths, and I would write that as 0 0.8, putting the eight in the tenths place, the decimal is zero. Don't forget the zero in the ones place. All right, let's look at page nine. All right, four tenths. Okay, this is going to be zero point four nine tenths. Zero point nine. All right, so here's one that's tricky. This is similar to one we just did. Right, I know that the three is going to be in the tenths place, and right in front of the tenths place is going to be a decimal, and I put the one in front of it. Right, so one and three tenths. Right, I could not do this 0 0.13 because this would be 13 hundredths. Because now this three is in the hundredths place. Right, we'll look at that later. So it cannot be that. Same one way here. Put my one in the tenths place. My two goes in front of it, and I know that it, that to get this in the ones place means I have to have a decimal right there. I cannot do this because this would be 21 hundredths, because now the last digit is in the hundredths place. And that's not what I want. I don't want it in the hundredths place. So that cannot be it. How much water do we have? We have one hole, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths. Uh, what's the weight of this? Well, we can see that it just passed the three, and it went one, two past it. So three and two tenths. This one, it went past the seven and it's one, two, three, four tenths. All right, let's look at page nine. All right, so here, how many ones do we have? We have four ones. How many um, tenths do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how do I write that? I write four and seven tenths, right? It's all about place value, right? And that's what this chart shows here. Here's four in the ones, seven in the tenths, and there's our decimal that goes right in the middle. The digit in the ones place is a four. The value of the seven is seven tenths, right? Where would seven tenths go on the number line? Oop, now I've already shown this one. It goes right there, okay? Seven, four, and seven tenths. All right. Now, Mrs. Morgan pays a cashier five coins. Two of the five of the five coins are nickels. Can you show show two out of five as a decimal? Draw a model to explain your answer. Okay. So let's draw a model. All right. Two out of five. So one, two, three. Four and two out of five are <coughs> are uh, um, nickels. Okay. Now, when I do a, a decimal, they always have to be what? They always have to be tenths, hundredths, thousandths. I don't have a way to show a fifth as a decimal, right? But is there a way that I can make fifths? into tenths. Is there a way that I could do something to this model to make it have 10 parts? Yeah, you know, what I could do is I could divide all of these parts into two. So originally this showed two fifths, but by dividing all of the parts equally, what do I have now? Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how many are shaded in? One, two, three, four. 
there are four parts shaded in. So now I have four tenths. And that means that this would equal what? 0 0.4. Four tenths of her coins, four tenths of her coins are nickels. Right? So that's how you do it. And you can use math to do this as well. Two and two fifths. I want them to see if I can make it have a denominator of 10. How do I get from 5 to 10? Times 2. Anything I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 tenths equals 0 0.4. Just respecting the place value. So if you weren't able to get that one, that's okay. We'll be practicing that more um, in the uh, following lessons. All right. Well, that is all we have for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.